Another nugget coming at you. This nugget is the seven things to be a top performing F&I manager. In this nugget, I'm gonna quickly cover seven things that all top performing F&I managers do. So I would recommend you do all seven of these things and they're pretty simple. I'm gonna go through them quick. Number one, give every customer a menu presentation. Pretty simple, but today I still see guys that aren't doing that. So don't prejudge anything. Have a process in place where every customer at that dealership, whether it's in person or it's digitally or over the phone and your email, a contract, everybody gets a menu presentation on all your products. Number two, be an expert in all aspects of your position. And if you are not an expert in any area yet, work relentlessly to get there. A lot of videos we do talk about being a student. We just finished up a video talking about being a student about how doctors study their profession. They spend decades learning their profession and going through constant continuing ed to be an expert because you don't want to go to a doctor that doesn't know what he's doing. And people don't want to buy from salespeople that aren't experts in their field either. So be an expert is number two. Number three, call every bank back on every short call or turn down. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this one, but I don't know. The dealer track error has kind of made it where people believe whatever comes over to them and, and, and the dealer track portal is the gospel and it's not true. If the bank doesn't give you a deal and there's a lot of reasons you want to do this we're not getting into in this video, call them back every single time. If you don't get exactly what you want, call them back. If they don't approve the deal, call them back and work on that and you'll get a better skill set there and you'll become world class. That's one of the areas some of you are amazing at it makes a huge difference as an F&I manager so number three call each bank back on every short call or turn down number four help all other staff whenever and wherever with a it's my pleasure attitude you know we talk a lot about being nice to people and being humble hungry smart this isn't rocket science like take care of your team help them anytime anywhere and have a good attitude about it right Number five, have clear short-term and long-term goals written down and review them frequently. All successful people have goals that they're regularly reviewing and they're constantly thinking about. And if you remember some of our other videos or some of the work that we do with you is it starts with your thought. So you begin with goals and then you start thinking about and focusing on these goals and then you take action on them and they become habits and it's just really important. So have goals that are written down. Number six, keep a positive state of mind daily. Focus on what you want and the solutions you want. And this is hard to do. I'm not gonna cover much of this topic, but you gotta get right up here. So whatever you need to do to do that. Some videos we talk about how you can think different things. You can have incantations. One of the things I always do is read lots of books. You can get on podcasts. There's all kinds of good stuff to keep you in the right positive state of mind. But top performers all have a positive state of mind daily. And number seven is carry the message to Garcia. If you haven't watched the video on carry the message to Garcia, you should. If you haven't read carry the message to Garcia, go read it. It's really important stuff. But top performers are the people that carry the message to Garcia. So you're more than capable of doing each and every one of these items. It's a matter of commitment and consistency. So commit yourself to always doing these seven things. Have a great day.